Dear friends, my name is uh, Mikkel Daman. I have a very important, very critical, very serious uh, message to share with you. It's, uh, it's really on my heart, it's urgent, and it's concerning that uh, the world is in big chaos at this, this present uh, time, this moment, and our nation is in big trouble. You know, there's, the poverty is too great, there's not enough jobs, it's crazy many abortions, uh, radical Islam is taking over, uh, so many sick people, uh, so many depressed psych psychological sick uh, people, physical sick people, people in debt, our nation is in, in, in big debt, and it, it, looks, it looks crazy. And um, friends, we need change, and uh, we need change right now. But change is only possible uh, under the right leader. So, you know, my friend, I don't know you, I don't know your situation, you might be in, in big trouble uh, right now, you might be in debt, I don't know, uh, maybe you're struggling, you are, uh, you're sick, worried, in a broken relationship, uh, maybe you are without a job or even suicidal, uh, and you may think there is no hope, but my friend, that is a lie. Uh, because whatever the devil might bring against you, whatever he has th thrown at you, you know, there is uh, uh, still hope. Whatever situation you are in right now, and whatever situation you may uh, get into, you know, there is uh, there's a future for you, there's a hope for you. Uh, and, you know, whatever, the, whatever card the devil has played, or whatever card he will play and throw at the, the, ta the table, you know, you have to remember, I want to tell you that there is something available for you and that is the highest trump card. The highest trump card is available for you, is with, uh, within reach. And if you play this card, you know, it will trump everything trumps everything, whatever the devil has thrown at you, whatever situation you are in, no matter how hopeless it, it looks, no matter what people have told you, and you know, this card will trump it all. It overcomes everything. I want to read from, for you from Hebrew chapter 10, uh, verse 19. It says, therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. You know, your trump card, the highest trump card, is the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. It's the blood that Jesus shed on the cross. He shed his blood for you. And through the blood of Jesus... The sacrifice of Jesus, the crucifixion of Jesus, you can have boldness to come into the holiest, into God's presence. Because the blood of Jesus has power to wash away every sin. The blood of Jesus has power to restore any situation you may be in right now. The blood of Jesus has power to, to uh, restore your relationship. The blood of Jesus has power to restore your health. The blood of Jesus has power to, to give you peace of mind. The blood of Jesus has power to restore your future and give you hope. There is power in the blood of Jesus to turn every situation around for good. So whatever the devil brings at the table, you can trump it with the blood of Jesus. It overcomes everything. Whatever sin you have been committing, uh, whatever things you have done and been guilty of, the blood of Jesus overcomes. The blood of Jesus is more powerful. The works of Jesus on the cross is more powerful than your failure than your sin, than your debt, than your sickness. The Bible says that God who 
forgives all your iniquity and who heals all your diseases. So you see that the blood of Jesus does not have only power to forgive and cleanse some iniquity, but the Bible says all iniquity, all sins, all transgressions. And also it doesn't say that the blood of Jesus has, God, has power to, to heal some sicknesses. No, the Bible says God who heals all our diseases, all our sickness. I'm here, friend, to tell you this is good news. It's good news for you, personal, for your family, for your relationships, for your children, for our nation and for the world. Because there is power in the blood of Jesus to change this nation and to change the world. You might say, like I heard about one atheist, he said, there is no power in the blood of Jesus, he said. He claimed there is no power in the blood of Jesus. And he said, because the blood of Jesus has been in the world for more than 2,000 years and still the world is worse than ever. People are still sinning. People are still depressed. People are still sick. People are still without hope. There's still war. There is still suffering. So he says, you see, there can't be any power in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus can't have worked. But you see, my friend, you know, there's also been soap in this world for more than 2,000 years. And still there is dirty people. Still there are people smelling bad. Because you know, my friend, that standing beside a soap will not automatically make you clean. You know, you can hold the soap just in your hand and still be dirty. You can even work in a soap factory and still be dirty and smell bad. Because soap does not automatically make you clean, just being close to it, just knowing about it. And people are dirty not because there's not enough soap, because, but because they are not applying the soap. If you don't know how soap works, my friend, I, I want to tell you, if you want to experience the power in the soap, you have to reach out your hand, grab the soap and start to apply the soap on your life, on your body. And then you will experience that there is power in the soap. And this does, the same goes with the blood of Jesus. You can sing about the blood, you can know about the blood, you can, you can even preach about the blood and still have a bad conscience, still be sick, still be dirty. And full of sin because to experience that there is power in the blood you have to reach out your hand take the blood by faith and start to apply the blood by faith on your life and then you will experience like thousands and millions of other people around the world have experienced that there is power in the blood of Jesus so I'm here to tell you good news that as we read in Hebrew chapter uh, 10, verse 19, it says, Therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus. You know, by the blood of Jesus, you can have boldness to come into fellowship with God. When you apply the blood by faith, the blood will make you clean. It will cleanse your heart. It will cleanse your soul. It will cleanse your body from sickness, your mind from depression your heart from past and present sins and it will uh, it will save you it will restore you you know peter one of the disciples of jesus he said he he wrote in one of his letters he wrote that um, you know we were not cleansed you are sorry we were not bought by silver or gold or uh, corruptible things but by the incorruptible blood of Jesus. We were cleansed and we were bought by the blood, the precious blood of Jesus. Jesus bought you on the cross. He paid for your sin. He paid for you to belong to Him, to be His property, for you to be forgiven sins in the past, present and future, and for you to become righteous. 
And you know, I want to tell you a bit about how how precious the blood of Jesus is and how powerful it is. If you will only, if you'll read with me in in, in uh, Isaiah chapter uh, fifty four, it's talking about the power of the blood of Jesus. If you read in chapter fifty three. You read about that Jesus, the chastisement for our peace was upon Jesus, upon him. And by his stripes we are. You know, Jesus suffered not for his own sins, but he suffered for your sins and my sins. And in chapter 54, in the last verse, it says that, And every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall Condemn. You shall, uh, and this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. So it says that every tongue, it doesn't say that some tongue, it says every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. So this means that the blood of Jesus cleanses from all sin, all accusation. So whatever in, in, the, in, the, in the end, when you will stand, everyone will stand before the judgment seat of Christ and be judged according to your deeds. You know, whatever condemnation or accusation that people will come against you with, you can condemn it. You shall condemn it. It's because, as, as we read forward, it says that this is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. It's the heritage. Through the blood of Jesus, you will have a heritage. And it says that, and their righteousness is from me. So, the Bible says that he who knew no sin, Jesus, who knew no sin, was made sin for us, that we would become the righteousness of God in him. So, Jesus, this was a, something happened on the cross. Jesus took our place that we will have his place, that we will have his trump card, the highest trump card, the blood of Jesus. And through the blood, we can be forgiven. Through the blood, we can have fellowship with God. Through the blood, we can have everlasting life. But the blood of Jesus, as I said, does not automatically make you clean. It has to be applied by faith. You know, you can't just, when you play a game, you can't just sit with the trump card if you have the highest trump card, if you don't play it, it won't have any effect on the situation. If you just keep it, if you don't know about it, maybe you dropped it on the floor and you, you're not sure. You are in, you're not sure what you are in position of. You will be, might be worried. Especially if you played a, a game about something, you know, about money. Uh, but if you know that you are in position of the highest trump card that overcomes everything on the table, that overcomes everything the devil brings against you, everything that people brings against you. It overcomes every sickness, every sin, every disease, all accusation, all attack. When you apply the blood by faith. So apply it, my friend. Here, if you go one, one verse earlier, it says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Because of what Jesus did, because of the blood of Jesus, we can be protected. This says that no weapon, it doesn't say some weapon, it says no weapon, no weapon at all. No weapons that is formed against you shall prosper when you apply the blood of Jesus. You remember that Israel, the people of Israel was in the desert. They, they went, or sorry, they were in Egypt. And God told them to apply blood of a lamb uh, on above the door. And it would be for protection. And when the angel of death passed by, came, it will not enter. It will not hurt them. So the Bible tells everyone... Every household, without the blood, the firstborn was, was uh, it, it, he died or she died, the firstborn died. But everywhere that there were blood 
and the dirt post on about the door. Death did not reach them. There was a protection. And the same comes today because uh, when Israel and the people of Israel uh, slaughtered a, a lamb to put on the doorpost when, when God told them to do so, it was a picture. It was a shadow of Jesus and what Jesus would, would do. It, it, it uh, pointed to Jesus. So when we today, at the same time, at the same moment, uh, the same, uh, yeah, uh, in the same way, we apply the blood of Jesus by faith on our life, on our family, on our health, on our heart, on our mind, on our finances, on our influence, on our reputation. You know, there is a protection. And no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue, uh, as I said, every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of uh, the Lord. And their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. You can receive God's righteousness by faith. Uh, the Bible says that, Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith, apart from the deeds of the law. But to him who does not work, but believes in him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is accounted for justification. And also, it says that, Therefore having, uh, um, therefore having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ. So you can be justified by applying the blood by faith, by putting your trust in the blood, your trust in the name of Jesus and His sacrifice on the cross. I just want to share a couple of more verses with you. I want to share a dream, by the way. I had a dream. And I dreamed that I was surrounded with these big monsters, demons, devils. And, and I was alone and, and I was pulled up in like in a, in a, in a corner up to, uh, against the wall but suddenly I recognized I had a weapons a sword and a morning star and I took those the sword and the morning star and I slaughtered the demons and uh, you know the, in, in the Bible we see that uh, the sword is the sword of the spirit and the morning star is Jesus so if you will understand what weapons you are in position of uh, you know, the word of Jesus, the word of the blood, the blood, you can come against every monster, you can come against every devil, and you can slaughter them. The Bible talks about taking all thoughts captives to the obedience of Christ. You see, Jesus' obedience to God on the cross, you can take all, all thoughts captives to the blood what he did because the blood overcomes so you don't need to be afraid you can apply the blood you can apply the the trump card jesus christ his blood on the cross and um, you know the bible talks i want to read uh, from isaiah chapter 59 if you will read uh, with me uh, verse 19 um, it says uh, Sorry, yeah. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. So it doesn't say if the spirit if if the enemy comes in like a flood, it says when the enemy comes in like a flood. Maybe you experience the enemy coming in like a flood with sickness, depression, debt, uh, accusations, a worry, and all kind of situation in your personal life, your marriage, and we see it even in our country. And uh, but then it says, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. So even if the, the, the trouble you're in is like a flood, even if the trouble in our country is like a flood, you know, the Spirit of, of the Lord will list, lift up a standard against him. When, yes, when we apply the blood by faith, when we, uh, when we understand, when we take our trump card, the highest trump card, what Jesus has given to us, his blood, and we, we play it, we use it by faith. And the Spirit of God will lift up a standard and restore all things. And I believe that this is a time for restoration. When God wants to restore all things, uh, he wants to, want to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the children to the fathers. 
And uh, in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, it says that thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ Jesus. When we apply the blood by faith, you know, Christ will always lead us in triumph. And, um, you know, there is uh, so much suffering, so much uh, trouble, so much uh, uh, pain in the world, in the nation, in the world. And it doesn't have to be like that. Because Jesus shed his blood for you. Jesus gave his blood for you. Jesus, it was God who came in Christ Jesus and died on a cross according to the scriptures. Then he was buried. And then on the third day, God raised Jesus from the dead according to the scriptures. And, you know, then he showed himself to several of those people that have been walking with him on earth uh, in the flesh. He showed himself and gave them proof that he was risen. One time he showed himself uh, to more than 500 people at one time. And today he has shown himself alive to many people. I have experienced that Jesus is alive, that he is real. This is not some, just some, per, some unpersonal power flowing around in the atmosphere. No, he is real. He is personal. He is loving. And he desire a loving relationship with you. And through the blood, we can have boldness to come into fellowship with God. You know, God's righteousness and forgiveness and right standing with God is not something that we can earn, that we can work for, something that we can perform, but it's something that we receive through His performance, through His work, through His blood and sacrifice on the cross. Even our faith is a gift from God. So I want to encourage you, to receive Jesus today and apply the blood of Jesus by faith today. It's a free gift for you, but it cost, costed Jesus everything. It cost him his, his life. It cost him his, uh, his blood. It cost him pain. He, he suffered so much and he died for you to be forgiven. So today, my friend, I will encourage you to receive Jesus. The Bible says that everyone who receives Him, He gives the right to become children of God. Who, uh, who believe, those who believe in His name. And His name, Jesus, it means He shall save. And He is the Son of God. And He shall save. When you put your trust in His name, when you believe in His name, when you apply the blood by faith. The Bible said, everyone who call on the name of Jesus shall be saved. And then Jesus, the Bible promised that he will give the Holy Spirit, the gift of the Holy Spirit, to those who obey him, to those who put, to, to believe in him, those who believe in him. So one, one way you can receive and apply the blood is also through baptism. Repent. Repent of your sin. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and decide that you're going to follow Jesus for the rest of your life. Be His disciple. So put your trust in Jesus. Call on His name. And remember, God wants you to prosper. God wants to make you great. God wants to make this nation great. He wants you to, uh, to be healthy. He wants you to be of a sound mind. He wants to make you full of joy and full of peace. And Jesus died for that. Jesus shed his blood for that purpose. So you will understand how much he loves you. How valuable you are to him. And that it's not too late. 
Don't give up your life, but give your life to Jesus. You know, forgiveness and salvation is some, not something we can earn. The Bible say that by grace we have been saved through faith. And it's not of ourselves. It's a gift of God. We, his work, the Bible say, created in him for good works when, that we, he have predestined us to work in. So, by grace I am what I am. And by grace you can also receive him. The Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, is a new creation. All things are gone. Everything has become new. Then it says that all things, all these things is of God. So you can be saved, receive him, and it's all a work of God. He will make you a new creation. He wants to forgive your sins right now. He wants to cleanse your heart, wash your mind, deliver you from fear and worries, heal your body, heal this nation, and restore this nation, make this nation great again. And He want to restore the world. He want to heal the nations, the people, your family, your personal life. So I want to pray for you right now. And Heavenly Father, I want to pray for everyone that watching right now. And I ask that you will touch them. And I ask that you will heal them and restore them in Jesus' name. Amen. You know that the Bible says that all the prophets have told about that whoever believes in Jesus, the Son of God, the Christ, the Messiah, will have his sins forgiven. You can have your sins forgiven by faith, by applying the blood right now. I'll encourage you to pray with me right now and receive Jesus into your life, into your family. I want to pray sentence by sentence and I will encourage you to repeat after me. Lord Jesus Christ. And you repeat, Lord Jesus Christ, I come to you now. I come to you now. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. And I receive, I, I need your grace and forgiveness. I need your grace and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, save me. Lord Jesus, save me. Lord Jesus, uh, wash me from my sins. Lord Jesus, wash me from my sins. Lord Jesus, I invite you into my life. Lord Jesus, I invite you into my life. Jesus, I receive you now. Jesus, I receive you now as the Son of God, as the Son of God, as the Christ, the Messiah, as the Christ, the Messiah, and I make you Lord and Savior of my life. I make you Lord and Savior of my life. And right now, I apply the blood of Jesus by faith. Right now, I apply the blood of Jesus by faith on my life, on my life, on my health, on my health, on my family, on my family, and on my nation, and on my nation. Right now, I become a child of God. Right now, I become a child of God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. Heavenly Father, I ask right now that you come and heal every sickness and disease in people watching right now. I command pain and sickness and evil spirits to leave right now. In Jesus' name, depression go. Fear go, doubt go, and belief go in Jesus' name. All curses be broken in Jesus' name. Every sickness be healed in Jesus' name. Be made whole in Jesus' name. Receive a miracle to start to test it out and check your body if, if you can do what you couldn't do before and give glory to God. Uh, feel free to visit us uh, on our website graceonly.net and we would love to hear from you if you prayed that prayer with us. And please share your testimony with us. We have seen so many testimonies around. God bless you. Thank you for, for listening. We love you. And remember that God loves you so incredible much. You are so valuable to Him. Bye-bye.